because you're supposed to think before you do or say anything on the planet every day. You're supposed to do some thinking. You just don't. You shouldn't just jump up and do this anything, any kind of old way, and just hope that it works out. I mean, you should be scientific in every move that you make. When you're talking to someone, what do I mean by scientific? I mean, you talk to someone in such a way, regardless of whether it's a white person or a non-white person, male, female, or whatever, in such a way that you get the most constructive results out of what you're doing. And when you act, you get the most constructive results. Mm -hmm. Because anytime you're doing anything constructive, if you're a person who is classified as non-white, you are opposing racism. Because a non-white person is never supposed to do anything that is constructive without a person who is classified as white officiating over that constructive activity. That's one of the laws of white supremacy. That's that's one of the roots. That's the main thing. A person classified as black is always supposed to be in a stupid mode, doing things stupid when they're off, you might say, on their own time. But they're really not on. We, none of us are on our own time in the prison system called the system of white supremacy. But the book is supposed to help you to navigate through this system in such a way that ultimately you replace the system with a system of justice if you're a person of color and move on to be universal man and universal woman in correct harmony with the universe in every area of activity. That's the way it should have been for everybody, white, non-white, male, female, everybody, uh, small uh, infants and whatnot, Everybody in tune with the very best that the universe has to offer in the con most constructive manner. That's the kind of wavelength we ultimately want to get on and lead it that way. But you can't do it in a world where people are going at each other based on what color somebody is. And uh, so this book is designed to help the people who are victims of this system to eliminate this system and uh, replace it with a system of justice and correctness and peace, ultimately. Universal man, universal woman. Mm -hmm. That's what the, in, the volume is for. Yes, sir. You can get it by going to producejustice.com, and it's addressed to the individual person, which you can do each and every day to bring about this goal. And you don't apologize for heading, heading for that goal. You just tell people that's your goal. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's logical. It makes sense. Yes. People who will push back and argue against it, a lot of non-white people will say, oh, I don't want to be bothered with this race thing. Well, the race thing is going to be bothered with you. But people have asked me, well, how do you get black people interested in having that kind of focus? You don't have to. The white supremacists will get them interested in having that kind of focus. Mm -hmm. I mean, all they got to do is just keep doing whatever it is they're doing. The white supremacists, if you're a person of color, will let you know you ain't going no further. All right. Yes. Why are you not going any further in what you're doing if it is of any constructive value? Because I said so. That's why. <laughs> all right. Then now it's time to look into the book that you can get by going to ProduceJustice.com. It's only when you or someone you're associated with has a problem that you can't seem to overcome. If you look around, the source, the people who can do the most to solve that problem is going to be somebody classified as white. You can almost guarantee that. 